Hello, hello, this is Dietra Arnett here, and I um, wanted to show y'all how to make some little bags today. If you saw the <clears throat> thumbnail sketch or the thumbnail photo, um, you would know I'm making three little travel bags. So, um, this is my print that I've chosen today. How's everyone out there in YouTube land? Um, I hope everybody's doing good. Okay, so I'm doing this size pouch I'm also doing about I guess it's about seven by um, 11 I'm just guesstimating I could measure it <coughs> these are scrap fabrics that I have from my bags and turbans and I thought let me make some little travel assistance bags something you could throw your combs your makeup pencils tickets cash anything you want to use these are the zippers so what I did was I pre um, set these because they are two this is actually four pieces I, what I did was surge them together to make a solid basically it's self lined so one side looks like the other side so today we're going to make a traveler travel kit uh, bags so you're going to take your swatches, make sure they're evenly. I did okay with these, it's here's a little off. But you're going to make sure, um, but first of all, let me thread my machine. Give me a second. Yes, I'm working on a, I'm working on, excuse the fabric in the back. I have a lot of um, lycra that I'm working with. Uh, let's remove the old thread. Don't do that at home. What I just did, let's remove the old thread. And what I have is in it, I have a, right here, a little bobbit uh, thread holder here on the side because some of these brother machines, the, um, I really don't understand. I probably need to look into it. I don't understand how I can do this right here so you can see um, how their bobbin or thread holder works. So this has like a little, it's just like an antenna. It actually goes up and down, up and down, like an antenna. So depending on, you know, how small the machine is. So for this particular machine, I have it raised to its highest. So we're going to um, basically go ahead and feed that through here. Right. I'm going to set it back there at a nice angle on the back side of the machine, right? I'm going to turn to the machine because sometimes I have back issues, right? Because um, of back issues, give me a second, i got to get up again. I'm at my sewing table so I can kind of push that around. Hold on. Okay, so you see my little couch over there is full of fabric and different things, but that's okay. So, we are back at the machine, so I'm going to take care of something. Um, so, I'm starting with the back here, and then I'm going to loop that there. I'm going to start over. I'm going to catch, a lot of people miss this part of the threading the machine, this section here. You want to literally... You can either put it here or here around that circular part. Because a lot of people just use it for when they're threading their bobbin. But you have to do that step because your stitches won't come out properly. So going on down and before the tension there, I have it on setting number four. I'm about to bring it on down through the needle. Got to get up again and get my glasses. Hold on a second. I'll be right back again. I have several pair of reading glasses because, believe it or not, around, um, around the age of 45, 44, my eyes started kind of, I started needing reading glasses, nothing major. So, 
I keep a couple around because I really, I almost can't sew without them. So uh, it became frustrating when I realized I couldn't see where I was threading and stuff. Like that. So I'm going to thread this all the way here, and uh, I'm going to snip it to get a blunt edge on the thread and thread through the needle. This has a automatic threader. But I don't use it because I haven't really. I'm not used to that. I'm old school, so here we go. And it's threaded. We should be all set. Let me check my bobbin to see because I hate when the bobbin run out in the middle of a project. Okay. So we're gonna start. You wanna make sure your threads are back here in the back. I like. Let me pull this one on this side. I'm not comfortable with that, but I'm gonna put it underneath the. Okay, so that should be fine. Okay, so we're gonna start with let's start with the bigger one. So what I have done is I've taken zippers, right? Just some of those soft zippers that I use. And I put on tabs. I basically, I'm going to take them off so you can see what I've done. On each end, I've added a little tab here. So that's when you zip it, the bag or whatever you're making. It doesn't have an odd space between the seam, the side seam, and the actual um, main part of the bag. So we literally have to sew these down first. I kind of wish I had prepped for that. But I didn't, so here we go. So, because it's going on the zipper, I have to kind of walk it through uh, part the way. All right. Let's move it back. Make sure it's not in reverse. Let me turn the machine off because it's going in reverse. I like to show like my real life problems that I have with the machines. Um, when I'm going through, I don't like to like edit necessarily. So sometimes the brother machine will walk backwards uh, without you pushing reverse. So you have to just make sure. So sometimes you just have to turn it off and then turn it back on. So we're starting the first stitch on this tab of the zipper. The reason we do this is also called a stopper as well. So depending on the size of the bag you're making, you will need a stopper. Okay, I want to make sure I'm still running on the video. So we had it over top of the zipper. I don't have, I should have a better setup. Next time I'll have my camera overhead. But I want to show you that I'm zip. I have to walk that zipper over the teeth, especially with like metal. This is not metal, this is plastic zipper. But nonetheless, you don't want any, what they call uh, needle strikes. You don't want your needle to hit that. Um, so basically you have a little tab here. Just make sure your sides are even, just for neat sake. All right? So that was there. So basically if it was done, it, once you zip it, it'll stop right there. The zipper could originally have been 20 inches long, but if I wanted to make it shorter, all I have to do is cut it, pull the zipper head back, and then sew it here. All right? Give me a second. My So this is not an edited video. I don't really do that. So I, like I said, I keep it real. So I'm going to do the next side. Um, honestly, whatever zipper this fits for the bag that I'm making, that's the what I'm doing. Because I thought I was going to do the larger one first, but it's not. So let's take this pin off. I had sandwiched this one here. And we're going to sew. Put your needle in. Put your, your presser foot down and drop the needle down for the first stitch. And you want to, because this will be used a lot, whoever the customer is that uses this, they may be in and out of it all day. So you want to make sure that's secure. Again, we're walking over this portion of the zipper so we don't want it to break. If it does, we'll change the needle. Okay. 
and went and reversed it just to secure it. And now we have our tab. I'm going to slip the tab while I'm in there slipping the, the threads. So sometimes I have to take my glasses off. I feel like I don't have enough light in here. Okay, so we're going to find the bag that I have pre-cut that fits this size. And I believe it's this one. So let's do this one. We're going to do... First, we're going to get our pins. Let me get my pins right quick. Excuse me. So I'm going to turn a little bit to the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Let me see if I can get down a little bit. Okay, that's better. Okay. So we have the zipper. This zipper, this is the right side of the zipper where you can actually hold the handle and pull it. I'm going to face that on one side of the pattern of the piece. Let's move these out of the way. Okay, so you're going to see that? Now, these are self lined, so both are the right side, regardless. Like the way I did it, I basically put them on the wrong side when I first originally sewed them together. So now we're exposed to both fashion sides both dark sides. We're going to take and do something like sandwich them like that. I'm going to put the zipper here, right? And basically, everything when you're sewing is backwards. So basically, you're going to take the zipper here and you're going to move that. You can move this on out of the way. You could do, put that on the top, see? You're going to lay that this way. And this is where you're going to start to sew. But before we sew, we're going to pin, right? We see our tabs that we made are there. That's going to give you a professional look instead of just like a bag with no... And I'm going to pin it so that I have stability or st stabilization on my um, fabric. This one's not pinned properly. So let's do that right. Don't want no sloppy work. Okay, so then you're gonna put this here on this. I'm, I'm, you know what? I could have done it the whole way around, but I didn't want to do it that way. So what you have is, if I want to teach you a proper way, I'm getting a message on my phone. It would be more pins because you want to catch it. So on that side, you hardly even see the zipper. Which is just surging edge. So I think I'm going to just do this bag for today. Because it seems like this is taking enough time. And I don't know how much time I'm going to have. On right. this bag. So we're going to start. At the beginning. Right here. I'm going to put the first foot down. Put the needle in at the beginning of that bag. And I want to remove this pin here. Alright. So I'm sitting here asking myself, is this right? Yes, it is. All right, so I'm going to start sewing. I'm going to walk it. Walk it. And then I'm going to be removing my pins as I go and put them on my magnet. I'm going to do this slowly. Why? Because we have a zipper here. See, I pulled it back, but let's just go ahead and slow. You don't want to strike your needle on that metal or plastic because you can have some problems after that. So, I'm just using a basic um, J um, foot and it's very universal. It does a lot. You can sew this on a lot of different um, um, settings. So we can kind of move faster but not too fast. Go all the way to the end of that. And then you're going to hit your reverse on the brother machine. The reverse mach button is here. And you saw that went back and then forward. Yes, that's what we want. Okay, so it looks like I'm having a problem. Look at there. I didn't sew a dag on thing. So, let's start again. It's okay. This, I want you to see the raw of it. This was not sewing. So, that was just practice. We're gonna get it right. We're gonna get it right. Let's get this off of here. 
probably. But sometimes if you don't thread your machine properly, you won't get a stitch. And that's what we want. That's what we're here for. You know what I'm saying? So we're not going to get discouraged. The more you do it, the better you become So with the threading so you don't really get so worked up about it. You realize you made a mistake in the threading and you just do it again. You know? That's life. So Now, let's get this needle in here. I mean, this thread inside this needle. That's the challenge for me. Um, uh, that I can't see very well. Okay, so, looks like I'm having a problem. But we gonna get it in there. Let me take these off. I feel like, hold on, my glass is kind of foggy. Let's get it. We gonna get it anyway. We gonna do it anyway. Let's get it on in. Let's drop, you know what? Let's drop this foot, because I can't see. It's kind of in my hand way. Let's try it again. I need my nails done. They are so rusty. Which, your hands become very dry if you're working with fabric. I'm sorry it's taking so long. This is unprofessional. Okay. I got it. Hopefully the thread don't pull apart. Okay. So let's try this. Try it again. Let's get it going. You really don't have to rush, but you just want to kind of... And remember, I removed it, so... Let's make sure that it's on the right side. Let's start at the end. Make sure it's even. I do a lot of freestyling. I don't suggest that for people to just begin in sewing because you need your you need your tools. You need your measuring tools. So the next time I come up here on a video, I'm gonna bring my measuring tools, all right? I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna just sit here and just put stuff together. This time I didn't even use pins, but hey, I can do that. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. So I'm going to move, lift this foot up a little bit. I'm going to move my zipper over and get it going. Put it back. All right. I need the back stitch you want, but it's kind of late now. I think I got kind of like, ooh, Lord, I really thought I'd be finished this section by now, but I did. But now, I have that side on. Let me let you see. So half of the zipper is done. Got little strings and doodads hanging off of it, but that's fine. We'll clip. We'll clip. We can clip right now if you like, but you know what I'd rather do? Go ahead and do this. Stop wasting time. And let's go, because when you, if you're doing this for production, you can mass produce these, and we don't really have time to keep snipping and sniffing everywhere. You snip at a certain point, and you can snip all of them at once. So I'm what I'm doing is putting that that zipper is now sandwiched between the two. You don't see? It's not really sandwiched. No, it's not. I'm lying. It's right there, but on this side you don't see it at all. So what we've done, where we had their first zipper, we put it on this way. On facing, we're gonna now because our goal is to see them to attach it on the right side of the zipper. And so when you do right sides together, so that's as long as you want. Know, I better slip. I better cut the threads because it's getting on my nerves now. So you better cut that as long as you can. So everything is sewn. Usually there are some things like French seams and things like that that you can sew the uh, wrong sides together. But we're not doing French seams today. So we're going to put that, once you have the zipper, you fold it out like it's normally supposed to look. And you're going to put this right here on the top layer. And you're going to see, guess what, y'all didn't see anything I just did. I'm sorry. Okay, so you're going to put this on top of here. You see, the zipper is like that. It looks like a um, pencil bag that you went to school when you had in school, like an elementary school or middle school. And then you actually can use this as a pencil bag, it doesn't matter. Right? And then you're gonna sandwich that together and on the back. You see at the bottom it looks uneven. That's because we're basically adjusting that amount of zipper space up top. Once it's sewn together, it'll come back to normal. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side too. Now, as I do these tutorials, I'll get better. Well maybe not. I don't know. Let me move back. So we're back. 
So we're going to be sandwiched it together and what you're seeing over here is this and that, right? Alrighty, we're going to put it on the machine and we're going to start, put the foot down and then put the needle in. Look for your paddle under the ground, on the ground, because it could be all the way over there. By the time you finish sewing and stuff, you have to push your paddle way over to the wall. No lie. So, you might want to get a grip or something like that. It's that serious. I'm at a place now in the machine. I'm going to lift this dog, this foot up, and then I want to lift this down so that I can get past it. I'm going to make sure my little strings are out of the way. That I didn't want to snip, see. You should snip. You should snip everything. That way it won't be a problem. Alright, so let's go ahead and back stitch you almost at the end. We'll do the back stitch and then we're gonna start trimming some of this threads off. Alright, so I wanna show you once you open it. This is the zipper is now actually functioning. See? And it looks really good so far. Right? So let's get popping and let's finish this project. Because we're not gonna do all of them today. I will show you the collection at the at the beginning and the end of the video. Okay, so it the inside it's like this, right? It's not the most um, even, but it's neat and um, because it's an African print, it's kind of busy. You don't have to be so precise about layering the prints, uh, lining them up. It looks really good. I notice a lot of um, European designers have borrowed um, a lot of African prints in their designs in the last century. And um, I guess that's okay. But they should at least give homage to where they got this stuff from. Because we had some beautiful designs in the motherland. Beautiful prints um, that we created and the rest of the world borrowed. So our ancestors created these prints. And I think we should, you know, keep them going. A lot of times, I'm, what I'm doing is putting it together so we can go ahead and finish the project. Uh, a lot of times the print tells a story. Um, you know that Kente, most people know Kente comes from Ghana. Many people know now, I can't say most people know. You have different, like, Angara prints and stuff like that that come from uh, Nigeria and places like that. So, so we have the inside out version of the bag and we're gonna, um, I'm trying to decide if I wanna sew this down or should I not because I think I will sew this down here because when it's turned in, it's gonna be very neat. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and sew this triangle together. Let's open up the dog feet, press it back down, use our manual wheel. I think my needle came back out again. It's all right. Let's get it. That's because I pulled it and didn't like, at the end of the stitch, I didn't run it like I should have. Ooh, that's so awesome. Okay, so put the needle in. And now we're going to go with the smallest seam allowance you could do on this bag. It's so tiny. So let's go for one fourth seam allowance. Alright. And um, let's hit that reverse real slow. And this is very important at the top because when somebody's got a bag, they're going in and out of it with their hand. And you want that top to be secure for a long usage. Like so they can use it for a long, long time. Alright, so now I have the stitches. The stitches on 2.5. And I, on this machine, I'm using a 00, zero setting, which moves the ne needle to the left. Which is really fun. Because it's not in the center, so it's already giving you that room for. Um, it's giving you room for. Let's, let's go ahead and trim this stuff off. I'm almost finished, but let's just trim this off. You know, them sons are dull. It is what it is. You would just say these paper scissors, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and get this little tail off. Should just snip off. Alright. Same thing on this side. I'm going to make sure my needles are not 
in my machine's way because I don't want a needle strike. So let's drop that foot, put that needle in. Don't do it. Don't you dare. Oh, it did it. Yes, it did. I promise I'm going to do better. I just didn't want no excuses today. I said I'm going to make a video and that's what I'm going to do. So, no editing. I probably never will edit because that's too much work. And I think, you know, people need to see real people. And people, you know, in their authenticity. Okay, so, we're ready. Hopefully. Okay. So, we push, start walking in. Because it's kind of thick up here. I have like... Ooh, this might be six layers of fabric or more up here. Maybe eight. So you have to be careful. Have a needle thing too. So we're still doing one fourth inch. And then all the way down. And back stitch. Or some parts that you could do. Okay, okay. On some projects you could do like a miter. Um which is when you make a corner stitch and keep going around like in a 90 degree angle but I'm not doing that today like I said there's so many things that I can share with you guys okay. so the machine just made a noise that means now it's blinking arrow here is on the machine that has an E like error, error, error. So what we're gonna do is turn the machine off so it can reset itself. I'm not very kind to my machines. I, I, I tend to pull and yank. Don't copy me. Don't copy me. Do it nice like um the other seamstress on YouTube. Do it really nice. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do better, I promise. <gasps> you guys, see, this is what I'm saying. Another, just pull it, pull it long, just pull it long. Okay, so that's should be threaded. Every time I start the machine, I had to thread it. So that's an issue. It's something I have to work on. It's not the machine, I promise you. Okay, one more stitch. So imagine if the thread hadn't come out, we would be finished by now. Right? So just imagine. So we put the needle down at this corner and we're gonna back stitch because people are going in oh not people. The person. The well not person, the individual man or woman who has this bag will be going in and out of it. So we want to secure the city so we will have much wear uh wear and tear on it. It's okay. Because guess what? Just turn it off. We're done. So I went to... I'm still recording. Let me take my glasses off. I can't see. Uh, so I'm going to take the needles out before I stab myself. All right. All my needles I had stabilizing the fabric. And guess what? You want to know something funny? I might get open, I might can't, because I didn't move the zipper back. Let's just try. Let's get one of these long needles. Don't look what I said. I'm just doing a fast sewing. And I should have did it like that because it's hard for beginners to learn when you're moving so fast. And obviously, I'm acting like a beginner with these mistakes. Oh, I'm putting my glasses back on. Oh. So what mommy did, my kids call me mommy, so what I did was, and I want you to see it, I zipped my bag zipper together, but it's coming, it's coming. I might have messed it up, I might have, I might have, let's see. So I think I might have, hold on, give me a second, I hate to use my teeth, but I will. I feel it moving. Okay, hold on, let me feel the tail on the inside and do it like that. Okay, there we go. Get my finger in there. I really jacked that one up, but it's not jacked up. Trust me with that. It's going to be ready to go on the website. Let me take this off. 
Okay, so now I can just put my finger in here. Oh, Y'all, and I'm hot. I'm having a hot flash. Oh, Lord, just so happy. Okay, now I can get one more little inch or so. Don't do it like that. You got to leave it open. You got to leave it open. I'm so you got to think ahead of time. So if I get one little hole in here, and it, like this, I can just put it all through this little hole right here and pull it through, right? Because that's what it's going to do. And look, look how little that is. I'm going to pull it all the way through, right? And I'm going to shake it and wiggle it like that. And I'm going to open it up. Oh, my eyes, man. Okay, it's forming into something here. Y'all see it. I know you see it. I really wanted to put a little shape in it, and I still might. Because this is square. Let me point those corners out. Still might do that. And here you have your little purse, right? And this purse can be used for your lipstick. Um, Anything like that. Let's just make sure we're cutting all the extras off. Look, it's a little change purse. You put money in it. It even has a little, it's kind of thick because I use four layers. Right? So I'm going to go in here. Make sure. Okay, that's good. And then what I'm going to do, because I find if you're selling these bags and stuff like that, uh, what's, what what's, what sells better is having a label on it, okay? So, see? Inside. No seam showing. It's the same in there, but it's not showing. See? Inside. I got one spot here that I need to work on, but what a spot. That's it. And then I'm going to show you. Get up. Get up. This is my label, the clutch brand. So I will put that here, right there on the back. And these are iron ones. I have like, I buy like 200 at a time. And so you can get those from uh, Wonder Label. You can measure your label where you want it. You can put it anywhere you put it in the inside. Some people might put their label in the inside. You can sew it in or you can iron it on. Mines are so, I could do either one. Uh, so that's that, right? Because my eyes are getting, feels bad, right? I feel like it drains me quicker because I can't see. <laughs> so anyway, it will look something like this. I just pinned it for you. So you'll see the set at the end of the video and at the beginning of the video. Thank you for coming to my house out in Queens, New York. Jamaica to be precise via Chesapeake, Virginia. I am Detra Arnett Butts and I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Bye bye.